right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka The Have Writer, and today we are gathered here for more WWE 2K23 My Men's My Rise. Last time around, we basically did a lot of these side stories. We did Indie Cred, uh, Tight Flight, and Fight Night. Uh, we had Biting Off Claymore Than You Can Chew, and The Monarchy, I believe. I think those were the ones that we tackled last episode. And then this episode, we're going to tackle Carry On My Wayward Suitcase, an Apex Tournament. I feel like we're going to get one of these two storylines coming up next, but we're just going to keep pushing onward and upward. We got 7 out of 13 completed, and we've done all the ones in the previous ones, which was quite nice as well. So, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, and let's get to it, people. There's an indie wrestler who works airport security as his day job. He keeps randomly checking my luggage because he thinks he can annoy me into using my connections to get him a high-profile match. Who is this dude? <sighs> Problem is, he's right. Can you please give him a match so he'll stop pulling me for screening? Feel free to really let loose on this jerk. Defeat the menace of airport security in no DQ match. Oh my god. Are we really having an airport fight? Please tell me this is the case. Brute force. <laughs> okay, but he looks more like a bouncer than like an airport person. What is this? Again, I haven't been on a plane since I was three years old, and I'm approaching 27, so... Again, I could be entirely... Does he look like more like a bouncer or like a security guard that you'd see at like, you know, a wrestling event rather than like an airport person? I don't know, I could be wrong. He looks more like a valet, if anything, right? Look at that, he's even wrestling in dress shoes. You know, I was joking, I'm like, oh my god, we're actually gonna wrestle an airport person, but... He, he certainly got brute force, just as much as Max Storm is taking the wrestling world by storm. Well, I mean, at least our dude's building up momentum. That's all that matters in our world. Alright, finish it, Max, for, uh, for all of us, please. Well, it's fine if you don't. Yeah, you're doing some damage. That's what matters. Alright, come on, Max. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Max! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I should have brought my water bottle over here. I need to refill the water cooler. <laughs> I have, like, a literal little, like, water cooler thing in my fridge. I'm not even joking. Like, I swear, when, when we eventually get our first little house or whatever, like, we're gonna have a full-blown water cooler somewhere. <laughs> I just, I know it. Oh, that'll be great. Oh, no. Nope. See, he he just keeps falling backwards all the time. This is the energy, this is the exact energy that we need here. Quit doing stupid stuff. Actually, no. Keep doing stupid, stupid stuff. Stupid stuff? Well, I know where my brain's going. Soup. I think I'm gonna make some soup later this week. That sounds like a good move. Soup just sounds lovely at this point. Alright, put this guy away, please. For all of our sakes, Max. Yay! We did it! We beat the airport dude. Good job, Max. We're proud of you. Carry on my wayward suitcase. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we have Chosen left. Do we have anything else? Okay, let's check the social medias. You totally saved me. Airport security is painful enough as it is, and after you beat him like that, I doubt he'll be bothering me for any more matches. Oh god. Well, we got good old Chosen coming up next for the Apex Tournament. So that's all fun and exciting. Let's go talk with Chosen and see what mission he has chosen for us. Chosen? What are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. <laughs> I can't believe I have to wait down here with uh, everyone. Shut up, Sorry Chosen! Sorry to hear about your lounge <laughs> issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh. I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously Ooh. competed in Japan. And me, of course. Oh, Chosen. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. 
Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. Ew. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match if you do something for me first. <sighs> this better not be about the broken pipe. <coughs> I need you to say Chosen is the greatest restaurant in the world. Even better than the so-called lock. Do that, and you would have the Raspo in the Apex tournament. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that we believe that. So, so like, like Tavish said, sometimes you just have to go along with things. <sighs> my desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride in victory. <laughs> yep. I'll do it. He understands. Yes. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. <laughs> He is better than I ever was <laughs> or ever will be. Say something else and act like you mean it. Oh my god. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. <laughs> You're good now. God. Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex tournament. Chosen, calm you know, down. For my own self confidence. No, I understand. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere <laughs> seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, He's so I'm sincere done. about this. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans that Chosen ones are going He's to... He's actually buying this. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. Oh, I no. recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world... Where's your phone? Is it in your you pocket? Chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. <laughs> Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Is anybody gonna actually Don't believe uh, that we meant everything that we just said? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we have Japan Dome, Japan Hall, and Shinsuke Jacket. Beautiful. I like the Shinsuke Jacket. But I mean, like, like I was saying, like... How did Chosen find us at the airport and not know that we were still in matches if he's always on social media all the time? That's a great question. But, you know, also, I have a question, too. Uh, what airport is this, and what are the uh, recording, the phone recording laws in that state, you know? <laughs> what are the consent laws to being recorded? I mean, I know that usually public places are pretty fair game, but... It's an airport. I don't know. It might be sticky, but either way around, <laughs> this is the crap I think about, okay? I can't help it. It's just in my nature. But either way, we've got the Apex Tournament. Let's get to it, people. Alrighty, we get to face this guy again. Qualify for the Apex Tournament by defeating El Ordinario. Oh my god, this whole storyline has been a treat. <laughs> See, at least he's building some character. Like, if he could just translate some of that personality into, like, you know, a wrestling personality, he might be onto something, y'all. He might actually be onto something. And see, we're like 96 overall, so we're just gonna just... We're gonna crush it at this point, okay? Okay. But I mean, hey, the Apex Tournament, that sounds pretty promising. Of course we got a rope break. Of course. Watch out, Max. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. But yeah, uh, we're gonna get through the Apex tournament and maybe one more story? I don't know how long this episode's gonna go, but I mean, hopefully this uh, Saturday. I'm hoping Saturday. So, I mean, the weekend episodes are fair game, I would think. Or at least, at least I think so, yeah, because this should be out hopefully on Saturday if I just keep up on the editing. We're trying to get through the men's My Rise for the sake of just the, the stories at this point. And the timeline. Great job, dude. Great, great job. I feel like that phone recording is going to come back to bite us in the butt, but hey, at least... You know what? We had to get in there somehow, right? And be totally disingenuous. Sometimes you just gotta play along with it, right? Into the cover, into the cover. 
There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, I think that pretty much sums it up. We'll be we qualified for the tournament, so that's all exciting. The Apex tournament is finally here. How are you feeling? A bit jet lagged from the flight, but I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? This could rebuild my image. <laughs> I mean, really, he needs to rebuild himself from the ground up. This is a high profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. This <laughs> check is all Got glitchy. It. So, this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You Agreed. really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Oh, Each dear group's God. wrestlers face off in round robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal. Here we go, people! Here we go, here we go, here we go! The Apex Tournament has arrived with our glitchy jacket! There's nothing really sing-songy about Max Storm, so I figured I might as well have little sing-songy bits along the way, right? <laughs> We're, we believe in you, Max. Even if your pyro still keeps going off randomly for no reason. Oh god, I think this is going to be the last episode I film for the night, and then I'm going to go in and fix the entrance, because she's a mess. An absolute mess. Our dude! <laughs> Paragon! <laughs> I know that music from anywhere! <laughs> We're facing Paragon in the first round, even as he's pointing everywhere. Beautiful. <laughs> We're really getting like a who's who of, my, of, of the men's my rises throughout the years. But where's Hector? Where's Hector from like last year's game? Remember Hector? Right? Oh yeah, and remember that one guy, the the baseball mascot dude. What was his name? <laughs> At least we kept Paragon and Cole Quinn. I'm I, I'm just disappointed that Cole Quinn didn't have the zebra pants. I normally wouldn't let everybody's entrances go through, but it's it's Paragon. <laughs> we gotta go through everybody. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Oh god. Earn an Apex Tournament win by pinfall or submission. Okay, well how many matches do we have? That's a great question. <laughs> Just how many? Because it's saying that we're in all these groups and the only tournament- uh, Well, I mean, I know that this is sort of like, you know, the 2K version of like the G1 from New Japan and all that. I get the comparison. But it's like, I don't understand how the tournament works! <laughs> I need to be doing my research too, Cam. <laughs> But I do know that it's like the two groups and then in the main event or whatever you get the two people that won both the groups and all that stuff. So, yeah. I understand that much. And that's, again, that is the extent of how much I know, right? Right. We're gonna have to, like, have a look-see at how all that works. But, I mean, to be fair, you know, that I just, how many matches are we going to have to be in? Who's in all these groups? How many people are in the groups? I just, I don't understand any of this. It's gonna come down to us and Chosen, probably, and that recording's gonna come to bite us in the butt, right? I have to think so at this, right? But we love a good tournament in this household. Beautiful German suplex! Come on, Max. Oh, crap. I just realized he had the resiliency. Eh, <sighs> it's fine. We're fine. Okay, go for the cover, go for the cover. Again, why do all the referees take their good old time in this? Okay, well, Paragon didn't even bother to, like, use his freaking resiliency there. We won, and that's all that matters. Yay! Go, Max! Again, how many people are in these groups? Like, is it three? 
Is it two? Is it just Paragon? I don't know. I, I have... I legitimately have no idea how any of this is going to work. They couldn't have provided us with, like, a bracket or something. Well, I mean, maybe not so much a bracket, but, like, the group system. Because we've actually had similar tournaments on universe mode in the past where everybody got into a group and everybody kind of faced each other and then we kind of went from there. So I understand how the format works, but we just don't know how many people are in each of these groups. After the first series of round robin matches, Max Storm is tied atop Group A with Finn Balor, while Chosen leads Group B. Hashtag Apex Tournament. Oh, hi, Max! <laughs> WWE eyeball emoji! Got caught looking past Max Storm in my first Apex Tournament match. Won't happen again. See, even the continuity is off here with, with some of these characters, because wasn't Paragon, like, in Japan for, like, quite some time? I saw you won your first match, too. Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. Oh, I have no. some feedback on the video you did for me. Oh no. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? <laughs> yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. Hey, we're contractually obligated for this tournament, right? That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. That's fair. <laughs> sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, the video no. still put up big numbers. I can't stand After this dude. Edit, of course. <laughs> oh, God. After the edit, of course. Can you delete it? I'm going to do my talking in the ring. I think that's fair. I'm going to do my talking in the ring. So you can have your chosen ones and your stupid social media posts. Which... <laughs> I get the feeling you care more about than actually. Keep wishing. going, Max. Keep showing your personality that we knew you had all along. No. I care about both. I'm going to win the tournament, build my following even bigger, and then conquer the wrestling world. You know, he sounds like that dude from high school, or that person from high school that, like, is trying to get you into that, like, multi level marketing scheme. It's like, when this takes off, <laughs> you'll regret not following me. That's my goal, too. Minus the lame social media content. <laughs> I've seen your feed. That is lame. Anyway, only one of us can get to the top. And Locke already had his chance. Well, it's we're not the lock. Now. We're, we're taking the wrestling world by storm, as Max Storm. We'll see. You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end few of this weeks. and come out on top. Any advice on how to survive? Right. You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> there is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So... You want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. Right. Oh! Okay, well this... This is a... This is a decision branch. Uh, this is, there, there is one where you can get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag match. Ooh. Does he honor tradition, or does he rest up? Why is this decision tree? I mean, I get it, but oh god, this one's a hard one. Because I did say that we were going to have our dude just be like this like terrible person and stuff, but like I can't root against him at this point. Or he just turns into an ultimate just bad guy, and that's how he makes his way back. Because he was forced into being a good guy, remember that? So I think let's re let's say screw it. Rest My up! My health and chances of winning the tournament are way more important than any tradition or making the fans happy. So, I'm going to rest up and skip the tag matches. I see where you're coming from, but be prepared for some backlash. Actually, I think I'm going to change hotels. <laughs> it will be good for us to uh, have some space. That's fair. We regret to inform you that Backstorm has elected to set out the traditional off-night tag matches. The replacement match will be announced shortly. Seriously, I didn't even know this was an option. <laughs> Pretty lame move by Max Storm, if you ask me. Maybe these types of shortcuts are what led to his WWE downfall. 100%. Let's get this trending. Replace Max Storm. <laughs> 
Well, here's the thing. We didn't have that, you know, instinct in us. And even then, they were taming that instinct. That's the way we're wording it. They were taming us. Alrighty, match number two is against Akira Tozawa. Defeat Akira Tozawa in the Apex Tournament match. Beautiful. Oh, snap. But hey, like I mentioned beforehand, we were going to turn this dude into, like, the bad guy, you know? It's like, yeah, he's on a comeback tour and everything, but he didn't have that, like... They, they were basically just, like, trying to throw us into a faction and throw everything behind us to be somebody that we're not. And that was to be a fan favorite. So maybe that's our way back to what got us to the top in the first place. Maybe it's like we just go a different route about everything. I don't know. I like bad guy Max Storm. See, he's getting more agile. Not making any of these diving attacks, but that's okay. He's just meant to be a bad guy. He's meant to be a heel. He has a chip on his shoulder. And, you know, that makes a lot of sense in the world to so just not care about anybody but himself. So going the bad guy route makes a lot of sense to me. We've had the weirdest, like, path, like, decision tree so far, I swear. And hey, look, if it means less tag matches for once, then I'm fine with that. I've had it with the tag matches, y'all. I really have. And I have a feeling like this isn't going to be the end of it, right? Right. Right. It's fine. Everything's fine. But I hope everybody's having a lovely day so far. We've been tackling the Apex Tournament. I have a feeling it's going to be a longer arc, but that's okay. But that's okay. We're here for our stories, and that's all that matters. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button. My bad. Aw, oh, crap. Well, hey, we got it that time. That's what matters, right? Come on, Max. You can do it. And even then, like, who would realistically want to team with us? At this point, who? I, I really mean that. <laughs> Come on, Max, you can do it. You can do it! Bam! That's it. Nice knowing you, Akira. Beautiful. We did it, people. We absolutely crushed it. This is more like... It's not necessarily... Maybe it's like not a comeback tour, but more like a revenge tour. It's like, yeah, they really screwed me over, and here we are, kids. Here we are. If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw, and I'm headed home empty-handed. You can do well, it, Max. Well, you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. True. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. True. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B. Shocker! you face him in the finals. Chosen's tough. Chosen's not a threat. I'm not worried about Chosen. He's too concerned about his image and social media content to be a real threat. So if I get by Finn, the trophy's mine. <laughs> well, I wonder who they're cheering for. <laughs> Earn an important Apex Tournament win over Finn Balor. I mean, it's Finn Balor in Japan, so this, this could be a tough one. Brace yourself, kids. Bam. But yeah, Chosen just... Remember how we didn't like him in the last My Rise? Because we had the shows in Japan with Christina Bennett, and we had that one run-in with Chosen. Yeah. That was a rough one. That was rough.
Oh, at least this is all somehow interconnected at this point, and we're here for it. Don't worry, we'll show the entrances for the finals. Don't y'all worry. Because, I mean, that's going to be the Japan Dome one. So that'll be fun and exciting. But look at our guy. He's really just... He's been building some character. And that's what he needed. He needed to really find himself. And it's more... It's, it's turned from a comeback tour to a revenge tour. And I'm kind of here for that energy. All the crowds are trying to cheer Finn on. Alright, we got a two count with that splash right there. Love that. Love that for us here. Alrighty. Keep moving. Hopefully we get this. Bam! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Oh crap, we just sent him over the top rope. I didn't want, uh, I didn't want that. But that's okay. We'll get him back in there. We'll hit the finisher and hope for the best, right? Oh, that was in the post. No! Go, 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 go. I hope this connects somehow, some way. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, see? Oh, God. It's fine. We're fine. Well, see, we got Finn right in the middle of his taunting. So that helps. Helps quite considerably. Sling blade! Another cover. Oh, and a one count. Not even a one count. Nice counter right there from Max. You can do it, Max. We're proud of you. He's, he's showing more personality and edge, like, in this entire, like, last couple of episodes than, like, the first so many episodes, and that's the energy that we're here for. Okay, go, 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 go. The mo oh, dang it, every single time. Ah, oh, crap. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Oh boy. Oh god, and we still got chosen to go through. Beautiful, beautiful elbow right there. Alrighty, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep on him, Max, keep on him. You knew it was gonna be a tougher for oh boy, we got blood. Okay. Stay on him, Max. Stay on him. Beautiful. Into the cover, into the cover. This might be it. This might be it. Yay, Max did it. We're so proud of you, Max. You're crushing it. You're proving, you know, why you deserve to be a top dude. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. This this is just lovely. This is absolutely lovely. He's going to the finals, people. He's going to the finals in this tournament. And Chosen's probably going to win this then, right? Right? I would think, right? Oh, boy. The Apex tournament finals are all set. Group A winner, Max Storm will face off against Group B winner, Chosen, at the Japan Dome. Still can't believe WWE superstars were shut out from the Apex Tournament Finals. Wow. These two show WWE that there is top talent outside their walls. Tired take. And speaking of tired, I'm flying back to my mansion to get some much-deserved rest. <laughs> Have fun beating each other up. <laughs> we appreciate you, Finn. We appreciate you. I'm walking on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Oh, final. shut up, Chosen. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? Or will it really drive home the point that I'm on fire? Oh, Lord. You ever hear the expression, don't count your chickens before they hatch? No. Why would I not want to count my chickens? How <laughs> else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. Whatever. Point is, let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. 
That means we're losing, right? I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. Well, well who so, was in your group, I though? I way more chickens than you. We had, what, Paragon, Finn, apparently Ricochet that we had a draw with. Yeah, we had Finn, Paragon, and Ricochet in our group, and Akira Tozawa. Who was in your group, Chosen? You're really not getting that. <laughs> also, your old friend Shawn Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Ooh. Probably wants me to be his next rock. Oh, God. Don't get involved with Sean. I'll embarrass you. <laughs> I don't think Sean will be interested in signing you after I embarrass you in the ring. Beautiful. Now, who's counting their chickens? <laughs> the entire wrestling world will be watching the finals to see how far you've come. So no pressure. You got this. And even if you don't, well, you're on the right track. We see, this is why Tavish is my favorite person in both of these My Rises at this point. <laughs> he's, he's very relatable, very chill, gives sound advice. You know, it's just, it's Tavish. Which means that we're probably not going to like him by the end of the series. <laughs> Here we are, kids. We're at the Japan Dome. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I forgot how cool this arena is. I'm so excited that we get to have the, the arena in the palm of our hands. Oh, I'm so excited that we're going to have this arena for exhibition mode and all kinds of good stuff, right? Oh, it looks so beautiful. See, we, this this is why we like this game right now. We have a good assortment of arenas, and we have random pyro going off. <laughs> it's the Japan Dome. It's the main event of the Japan Dome, and that's what matters. Look at our dude. He's all ready to go, glitching out his jacket and everything. We're gonna lose this thing, aren't we? We're gonna lose this thing. Face off has chosen attempt to win the Apex tournament, so we don't have to win this thing. But we're gonna win this thing, and that's what matters. Chosen, calm down. Nope. You will not be the chosen one in this tournament. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just glad that our, our level of just like snarkiness has pretty much rubbed off on Max at this point. We're proud of him for developing some character at this point. We really are. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep going, Max. Keep going. We've been really turning things around, and I'm proud of him. It's been a rough couple of episodes or so. It's been a rough road for Max, but that's okay. Oh, well, that's fine. We whiffed it too, Chosen. Don't feel bad. It's only the main event of the Japan Dome. But I mean, like, it's a huge accomplishment either way, because, I mean, we got to the finals of the tournament. Oh, we got a one count right there. We are going after Chosen, okay? We got this. I have a feeling all these decision trees are going to come and bite us in the butt at some point, but that's okay. But like I said, I always wanted us to make more of the like bad guy decisions with, with our dude here. He just comes off as a bit of an arrogant dude. There's no other way around it. Great job, Chosen. You do it, Max. Nice splash right there from him. Come on, Max, you can do it. This could very well be a standalone episode right here. I don't think we need really much else after this one. We could probably get the rest of the stories done either in the next episode or whatever, but yeah, this should hopefully be up on Saturday, but I think, you know, we've got a nice little lineup on our way, and, you know, like this weekend, for example, we're not going to have a uh, reaction video just because I'm taking a break this week. Oh, nice move right there from Chosen into the cover. Kick out right there from Max. So yeah, that's why we're kind of just, like, focusing more on the My Rise stuff, and also to kind of set the canon for the future. I figured if I just skip a reaction for one week, I mean, we've only been at it for, what, like, seven months straight without a week off? Uh, yeah, I think we've more than earned it at this point. That it makes sense if we're trying to, like, film all these videos and try to get the rest of the series up for y'all, so... Yeah, again, this should be up on Saturday, hopefully. That's the goal, anyway. 
Uh, but if it's a day or two behind, that's okay. We're gonna roll with the punches. Speaking of punches, there we go. Beautiful move right there. Into the cover, into the cover, into the cover, into the cover. We did it! We won the tournament! Look at us! Oh, look at that! We even got a trophy. Look at us! I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of Max right now. He's really come a long way in this short amount of time. He's had quite the journey to get to this point, but we're so proud of him at this point. Look at that. Just... We're so proud. I'm so proud of Max. He's really come a long way. Story completed! We got the Japan Dome, Japan Hall, and the Shinsuke jacket. Beautiful. Okay, so we have Tavish as the next, you know... <gasps> the through lines! Oh my god, the through lines! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm, I'm way too stoked about this, but... Alright, we got story progress, we have Lost in Translation, Cat and Mouse stealing the show, and a hairy situation coming up. So we have 9 out of 13 stories completed. Let's go to social media and that sort of thing. So, let's go over here. The Apex Tournament winner has been crowned. Max Storm has reached the apex of professional wrestling, outlasting the best in the world. The wrestling world has been put on notice. I'm officially back. I acknowledge you, Max Storm, but I still sit at the head of the wrestling table. Everybody's journey is different. I have a feeling Max Storms is just getting started. Oh boy. That's gotta be a positive thing, right? How? Slade is your Royal Rumble winner. Nothing can stop me from achieving greatness. WWE Championship awaits. It's cool and all, but have you tried winning the Apex Tournament? Blocked! <laughs> Don't be upset, Chosen Ones. There will be many more Apex Tournament wins in my future. Max Storm needed this more than me. Glad I could help him out after he hit rock bottom. That's not what I saw. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Just noticed WWE liked a post about your tournament win. Maybe a sign? Question mark? Who knows? But I'm not interested in going back. I have all the momentum in the world and I'm going to keep going. I mean, hey. Maybe, maybe you know, it's his way back. We'll have to see. But we also have another story here with Cat, which is great. Uh, so, yeah. We got Cat with a side story over here. Uh, we got Justine Janine, probably lost in translation. And then we have a Harry situation. So it sounds like we got a couple of very quick little side stories coming up in the next episode. But we have our through lines. We, we finally have an encounter with Max and Justine Janine. Oh boy, I'm excited! <laughs> Either way around. Either way around. Uh, we've had one heck of an episode. Uh, Max pretty much won. You know, he won the Apex Tournament. We're getting we're getting back on our feet, people. We are starting to wind down this wild road known as WWE 2K23 Men's My Rise. Hopefully, we sort of continue to just build on our momentum and that sort of thing. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.